Welcome everybody. Uh, today's project is this Ford. Um, customer wants me to just do the body. He said you worry about the frame and everything else. Uh, I was tagged in Funkle 88's Discord, and uh, this is what the tag was. So we're gonna do that. So nine grand parts and labor to redo the body on this, and uh, let's get started. Thanks, Funkle. So, all jokes aside, thank you, Funkle, for uh, tagging me. Um, glad to be at service here. Uh, this thing is pretty bent. Uh, I kind of looked over it. That frame. <laughs> She left chat a long time ago. Um, so I think how we're going to tackle this thing, we're going to take the front clip off and then take the cab off. I'm going to set the cab right here and see if it's salvageable. I don't know. I mean, I've to be honest with you, I've fixed worse, but I believe the box is straight, square. Just got rust panels. Got to be cleaned up. And uh, the story on this bad boy. So he... Uh, he got the truck from a barn, so obviously a barn find. Uh, he was towing it with his trailer, but the trailer rolled over. And then, while the truck was sitting in his yard storage, he hit it with the yellow truck in this picture. And now it's here. So, I guess we'll just, uh, I don't know, dig in, I guess. Looking forward to it. Um, so, I think we're going to make a trip to the junkyard. I mean, I obviously had no choice. I mean, I could buy all new parts, but... I just hope the junkyard doesn't go out of business anytime soon. Um, this is the only bad part about working on stuff that's damaged. Um, the bolts are not where, I mean, they're still there, but like that one, can't get to that, can't get to that. So you got to go under here, that, and that. Look how damaged that is. Alright, so front clip. I doubt it's salvageable, but... They're not the front clip, but the core support and stuff. So I'm thinking we're just going to go get a whole front clip. Hopefully they have something decent there. I just hope. So... Okay. Oops. There's that. What did I open? Oh, I opened the glove box. Okay. Um. I'm hoping to find another. Another truck with. I think it's a. A brown interior. Whoa. Thought that thing was going to go through the roof. There. Now I can actually work on it. Alright, let's see. Back up. I don't know. I mean, it, it's twisted. Let me look at this one. I don't know if that roof... Yeah, we're going to have to get a roof, firewall, and a door. And maybe a rocker panel. I don't know if the floor is messed up. We'll deal with that. When the time comes. Uh, let's see. Let's get the bed off. Put that in the paint booth. Plus I want to look over this cab. And then if he wants to watch the video. He can. You can see what's all wrong with it. Get off here. Alrighty. Yeah, I know we're not doing the frame or nothing, but I wanted to show you this frame rail. Look how bent that thing is. 
mean, obviously, the reason why it failed is, you know, this big old gaping hole. But, like, see, this one, the hole's not there. This one's straight, so. Wow. She took a hit. Okay, so this thing, I guess we'll take the door off. We'll take the doors off. Those have to come off anyways. Um. Oh. Yeah. Bolts are out here. That's easier. Okay, I don't want the old cab. And pile up. No, I'll we'll put the pile of parts over here. So I'm gonna have to get just back the truck up and load it up. Okay. Come on. Open. Okay, that one's salvageable. We'll set that right there. Let's get the seat out. So the reason why I'm doing this is for one, helping the guy out. Two, it makes me feel like I'm part of something. And uh, yeah, this floor is junk. We're gonna have to get a oh, name it. Okay, so uh, it scared me there for a second. I thought the floor was actually junk. I don't think it's too bad, to be honest with you. Um, I already took the windshield and stuff out because that was actually uh, messing with my game, so I took it out. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's take off the trim. Kid bugged me there for a second. Um, so we gotta get ready for paint, anyways. So I don't remember what all trims on this thing. I doubt most of this is reusable, but we'll find out once we get. I thought it disappeared. Um, we'll see if uh, what all savable once we get to that point. Okay, now I need a screwdriver. I believe it's a screwdriver. I don't even know if I can get to it. This dash out of here. I mean, the dash is definitely not. I don't think it's savable. Wow, the cab took a leap. Come here, back on the platform. I wish these things didn't move around so much. And as soon as you start cutting them apart, man, stuff starts flying. Okay. So I need a, another, I need a, two steering columns, one for this and one for my truck right there. Okay, I'm hoping to get a full cap. Maybe just swap out the whole cab. But then again, trying to find a decent cab in a junkyard. Why am I struggling? Get in the truck. Okay. Uh, tools. Okay, so we got the cab ripped down. I'm not, the headliners, I'm not worried about it right this minute. I'm hoping that floor is savable. If not, we'll put a floor in it. It's not that big of a deal. 
could probably just the cab itself. Really, it's just a roof and a firewall, maybe a floor and a rocker panel. I might just buy those parts. Um, but the main thing is we need to go get a front clip. So, I already got tools in here. I uh, might have to take off the topper. Yeah, we'll make it fit. Okay. What? Is it dark? Yep, it's dark. All right, let's go sleep. Uh, for any of you guys that has been wanting this, this garage, it is on Nexus Mod now. Um, so if you want it, go check it out. Comes with a trophy case, lounge up here, however you want to set it up. Uh, it is a blank garage. There's nothing in it, but three lifts, uh, the basic tools you start with. So I'm going to clear and we'll make it. All right, off to the junkyard. Right, steering wheel straight. This is still an automatic, so. Ooh, I stopped an automatic. It's up in boogies. For being stock at that too. I can't wait to try out the uh the scrapyard F two fifty. I still thought we were going sailing into that fence. Uh, definitely going to have some lag because, you know, 14 uh, cars in the junkyard, it's going to be laggy. I don't know what's smoking, but, ooh, that front clip's junk. like to find a whole complete front end. That's junk. A little bit of lag. Ooh, here's a candidate. Rusty, but no, it's missing stuff. All right, so we're gonna have to piece some part, maybe. Ooh, I think this is gonna be our candidate. And now oh, this truck's got everything. Core support and everything. Radiators don't. That's fine. We'll get a new one. Okay, so I'm going to do this just like I did the last one. Maybe. Okay. 
I didn't hear that thing. I want to make sure that thing, I bought it. Okay, I did buy it. So, grab the wrench again. Go down here. Try to find these bolts. See, look at that. Like, 55 bucks. You can't beat that with a stick. Like, oof. Okay, so we're just going to take the fender. That's fine, so I'll have to find another one of those. Uh, can I take just the firewall? Need that rocker panel. Get in the truck. Jump! <laughs> I don't really need that door. Need the other door. Now I'm done struggling. Buy that. Okay. Need the windshield. Need the back glass. And I need that bumper. Come on. Is this a door I need? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. Panel. Hopefully, I can fit all this in the truck. Okay, so now all I need is a roof. But, you know, I clicked the wrong one, so. Might have to take off topper. Not too sure yet. But the money that I saved, I don't really have to buy a top out of here. I could buy a brand new one. I mean, the prices of these things are cheap. They really need to fix that pallet. That is not going to stay. It does. I'd be amazed I make it home with that. Definitely got to get a bigger truck. So, I uh, have to start looking for a bigger, for a long box. Make a parts go getter. I mean, this is this is a good truck, to, you know, all around. Go to the store, get parts. Um, 
I mainly use it for sandblasting bags. Those go pretty cheap, so. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna chill on the road and we'll see you back at the garage. Okay, so we're back. Um, only one part fell off, and that was the radiator core support stuff. Okay, so let's get chopping into this. Let's get this cab set up. Uh, I bought some extra parts. So we're going to do a new roof. And then we got a new rocker panel for this side, which I knew that thing was going to go end over end like it always does. Struggles. Tell you what. Okay, so what we got to do, you have this happen, you just cut the firewall, firewall off, and then it doesn't flip no more. Now I might flip backwards, but. Okay, so that's garbage. Alright. Now, where, what do I do with my welding? So there's that. Yep, it's got a welding stick in it. See, the more and more I get into it, the more and more stuff I'm going to find back. Okay, so we're going to have to replace this. Um, scrap bin. So if you left side. See the back wall's bent. So pretty much if I just bought a whole brand new cab, I'd be fine. But then again, this this is what happens in real life. You get into a project and there's a lot more that comes along with it. So it's just the way it is. I don't know if I can beat this out with a hammer or not. Scribe. Might be able to beat it back flat. Maybe it's got to be on it? I don't know. Scribe. Put one tack in it. Let's see. Yeah. So I figured these cabs don't do that. Not when they're disconnected, so. A new part it is. Uh, back wall, back wall, back wall. Where's the back wall? Oh. Rear panel. Okay, no more gaps. Good. Now, this rock panel. Wonder how much money I'm going to make off all this scrap. Grab the hose. 
wash some of this stuff off. See, yeah, there's rust on it. That's fine. Get all the rust. Looks good for my house. Okay, now the firewall. Where to put it right here? Uh, garden hose. Will it reach? Fun. I'm actually amazed there's no rust on it. Yep, floor's junk. Dang it. Now I'm gonna have to rip this whole cab apart. That's what I was afraid of. Alright, we'll just assemble it. It is what it is. Okay, single cab floorboard. There it is. Where's my welding stick? Okay, turn that. Get in the groove here. Putting it all together, I get sidetracked real easy. Okay, where'd the... Okay, that right there is ready for paint. I just gotta pull the wiper blades off. Rest can stay. All right, so the cab's ready. Uh, I think I have to buy the paint. I don't think I bought it yet. Okay, let's get that in the paint booth. This, i uh, tear this apart. take this inner panel off because it doesn't 
doesn't clean up very well on the box itself, so. Jump. There we go. All right. Get this cleaned up and the box will be ready. So that's why I bought. I just bought one last time because it, it don't clean up. Can't get the rust off of it. I'll get my money back on that. I'm not too worried about that. Really, I'm only about two thousand dollars in, so I'm not too overly concerned. Whoa. Okay, double check the box. It has some dirt. Okay, so it's ready for paint now. Come on. So now it's just going to be wash everything up and get everything painted up. This cab's over here doing flips on its own. I don't know why it does that. Stay still. Sit. Stay. Okay, so I went ahead and did all the nitty gritty stuff. Um, painted everything. Well, not everything. I painted all the jams. Painted the back of the bed. And then painted, you know, the front of the cab. So we can assemble it and then we'll... We'll do it right. Um... I still gotta pull the chrome off the the bed here, tail lights. I kinda painted over. I did Earl shot Earl Shives job, I guess you could call it. But or a Mako back in the day. They used to have a a sale. It was like one ninety nine or something like that. But if you didn't tape off anything, they painted over it. So Um one thing I have noticed, trying to put this uh, back together, this frame rail, frame rail will not let anything bolt to it. So, and then I picked up the box, and the tailgate fell off. Okay, so I know I'm a day late and a dollar short, but I'm gonna pull it anyways. And taillights, uh, I'm not sure. I think that's a screw. Okay, now. Take the bumper off, see how I can't mask it off. Okay. Oh, I forgot a piece of chrome. I mean, I have pretty much all the chrome besides a couple pieces on the cab. I believe. I gotta get a mirror. Take this chrome off. I think that's it. Okay. All right. Let's get uh, get assembling this. Uh, the fenders I went ahead and painted, just because. So we 
we'll get the door on. The other door, there's no point in painting it. It's already been painted, so. I just want to paint everything to match. As like if you were in real life. See? Paint all the jams, and then you put it on, and then you paint it all. You would tape this off right here, though. So you didn't get any overspray on, on the inside. But. Alright, let's get the hood on. I tried painting all the jams on the fender and it ended up just painting the whole fender, so. That is okay. There we go. I uh, did go ahead and put a new tire on it. Well, not new. I grabbed one from there, painted it. So I can at least roll this. I did put the e-brake back on. I forgot all about this until I did the, uh... A new garage or a new save for so you guys could have this garage. Forgot all about it. Right, let's see. Jump. Jump. There we go. Uh, we're going to do a long reach on this because I can't really, can't really get it. Okay, set the gun down. See how close I can put it without moving the truck. Come on, get up there. There we go. And it slid off. Yeah. Alright, let's get this hood painted up. The rockers. Let's say, where did it go? Double check the back. So all I did was paint the inside of that, so. Dry dirt. Yeah, have a sweet looking truck when I'm, I'm all done with this. And like that. Voila! Alright. Get this out in the open. Okay. Alright, let's get this thing built. Get it back to its owner. That sounds like I'm talking about a dog here. Um. Hopefully this will pull back up. Look, it, just, it hides the bend, right? Can't see it. It's not there. Uh, other fender. Let's 
So, I mean, there'd be a lot of tedious stuff to buy still, like, um, trim pieces and stuff like that. I guess what I got in my hand, I'll throw it on. I don't know what side this goes on. Right there. Okay, these are obviously bed. Easy money. These are fenders. I'll just set that there for now. Grab this, set that there. I gotta find the tailgate chrome piece here. I think it's sitting over here in the pile. Come on. There's that. Uh, door. And this is fender? Nope. This fender. What does that go to? Yeah, it's fender. That's what I thought. Alright, let's get this door on and then it'll look complete. Ish. But I'm just gonna throw it back together like how it kinda was. See, it won't bolt. These definitely have, definitely have a lot of framework to do. Let's see, can I throw these in? Perfect. One less thing in the shop. All right, see. I said, why can't it get through? But I do have some cool ideas for my uh, Ford Lightning over there. Okay, so carpet's not going to fit because it's damaged. So he's going to have to do some interior work. I will put in what will fit in. If it don't fit in it, then it is what it is. Oh, we gotta get this thing done. We got some builds to do here. And I appreciate you guys sticking around if you made it this far. Really appreciate it. Okay, so the lights in while I have the screwdriver. I think that's it for a screwdriver. I believe. Yep. Oh, well, we're getting right down to the bottom of everything here. Now, I did wash everything. Did that off camera. So you guys are not sitting here watching all the boring stuff. That don't bolt. All right. My question is, will the steering column go back in this truck? I hope. Yes. Whoa. Guess the truck. And of course, it would start raining. Okay, what was I doing? This is how that rain interrupted me. Let's put the windshield in. Yeah. Okay, this is... Nope. You there? Yep. Oh, there's two gavies. Okay. Whoa. Uh, rear window. Yeah, it did bolt that door. What's that? Flavor stuff. Couldn't get any better than that. Grab the right part. Now I believe the only 
chrome piece I don't have is... This is probably mangled. Eh, it's fine. This one should be okay. Right, now we're gonna do a shifter. Get a screw or get a wrench if I can speak. But I mean, at least he'll have a straight body to work off of. That's his. That was his plan, and. Yeah, that dumb bolt. Hopefully he watches this video. There's a lot of stuff on the right side of the vehicle that do not bolt on. Okay, so the brake master cylinder is empty. I might top that off. Let's throw this back in. Oh boy. There it is. Yeah. Alright, now. Wiper motor. And I think that's it that I have. Now I need a headlight. Headlight and a chrome piece. And a left mirror. Wrong. I think. Nailed it. Almost like I know what I'm doing. But I don't. Okay, now the mirror. Here we go. Totaled out, back to almost brand new besides everything else, but if you wanted me to do that, I would have did it. No problem. Uh, but, hey, one vehicle destroyed coming in, one vehicle leaving looking like a million bucks. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.